Thank you, Kevin Fox. Beautifully done, sir. Thank you. You can give it up again. That, those are. I should address you more. I've spent some time, uh, I, I no longer live in, in Toronto, and uh, when, I, when I get into town for shows like this, and I'm actually parked for a few nights, I get to do the things I used to love to do, including going from shop to shop looking for vintage wear, such as this bronze colored vest with the fabric buttons here, thank you. Um, I would have expected more applause for that, frankly, but we're probably all still so dazzled by Michelle Willis's trousers. Um, I was in this, there's an obscure menswear shop on the third floor of a building at Duncan and Queen, I'm not kidding, and um, and you go up there and it's like going back in time and they, they sell spats and canes and all these crazy things. And, uh, and I was in there and I was pulling out a bunch of shirts and I guess on the basis of the selection I was making, the proprietor said, uh, you don't happen to front a funk band, do you? <laughs> And I said, no, actually, I'm a folk singer. And he said, ah, then you have no boundaries. <laughs> and it was just so great, because that's actually true, uh, musically speaking, anyway. And, um, and it, it, it kind of encompasses a lot of what we do. I think folk, especially in the Canadian context, really refers to an aesthetic and a sense of community and so on. So you'll hear, uh, you'll hear touches of jazz and of pop and of rock and of country and indie and singer-songwriter and all of that and um, I think in a way our next performance oh, yeah! Yeah, right. <laughs> that's what she's bringing is the metal <laughs> my, my Leonard Skinner version of the uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> that too much? I've said for the 12 years or so that she's been on this show, the, the hardest person to introduce, and my favorite person to introduce, is the brilliant Lori Collins, who might say anything. I've, I blame it all on Advil, cold, and sinus. <laughs> so, um, thank you all for being here. It's, a, it's another, another pleasure to be up here and having you all stare at me for 10 minutes. I appreciate it and listening. Um, I'm trying to pick my song for for this evening. Um, you know, I guess they say, and it feels true, that musicians have a, a good deal of empathy, and that's maybe how they're able to make connections. And you know, music is kind of powerful, right? Like it's like art is powerful. Paintings are powerful, and you can cry at a painting, but something happens specifically inside of a song that can be really, can, can really touch people. And, um, you know, for writers like Gordon Lightfoot and on a different scale myself, that's kind of what we strive for. And so, um, I, when, I, when I was listening to this song, I really sort of felt like it was something that I needed to hear because it's sort of like a tune that's full of hope and almost even feels like a prayer, even though I went to Catholic school and, uh, there's been some, a little bit of damage done. I, I still believe in spirituality on, on some level. And, uh, but, uh, so um, it feels like a kind of a bit of a funny time, and maybe that's just a product of my age and generations thinking that the next generation is screwed. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if it's plastic or Donald Trump or... or um, uh, uh, climate change, probably mostly, um, and there seems to be a lot of pain out there, and so um, I felt like this felt like an antidote to maybe some of that stuff that I feel is uh, that I can feel anyway. So um, it's called "All the Lovely Ladies." <laughs> Just 
just for now All the gentle strangers Who by nature do not smile To everyone who cannot hold a pen All you heavy rounders With a headache for your pain Thank you.